Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now if you search Google for the worst modern graphics card, a lot of the time you'll come across forums whereby people will be telling tales of their terrible experiences with a little budget card known as the GT610. This comment for example, and this charming one too, don't really fill me with confidence, but is it really that bad? It's well known that the cards ending in 10 from NVIDIA are usually intended for basic computing and to act as display adapters, this one included, but I know with a price tag of between $30 to $40 or pounds it may seem tempting. After all, here on this channel we've featured much more for much less, so maybe people are expecting too much from this card, or maybe it's taken up that unfortunate position of being the card everybody loves to hate. So spec-wise, we've got the Zotac Synergy 2GB Edition 610, a 48 CUDA core GPU with GDDR3 memory, a clock of 810MHz, and a super low power consumption of just 29 watts. It launched in 2012. We bought ours new for £33.99, about $40. So let's get straight into some games and see if this thing really does deserve the hate or whether it can redeem itself. Now as always with cars like this it's important to manage your expectations but let's start off with older titles. Here's Portal at 1080p. With the settings on medium the game stays at around 52 fps. There's no real slowdown and it seems more than playable. With the an older title we're off to a good start. Next up we wanted to try Dirt Rally because although it's not old it is one of those games that's very well optimised and in all honesty I've never really had a problem running it. Again 1080p here with the ultra low preset just to make sure it would run smooth and I was quite surprised to see 56 frames per second on average. I think with a racing game the more frames the better and high 50s is a great figure. Ultra low still looks pretty good too. So let's chuck this thing in at the deep end now and fire up some more demanding titles. Fallout 4 up next, as you would expect, we've had to lower the settings to 720p and the low preset. Doing so returns 22 frames per second. While that isn't really playable, it was better than I thought and I'm sure it outdid some of your expectations too. Lastly, it's GTA 5, which almost always runs similar to Fallout 4 in most cases, despite the games being totally different in terms of developer and engine. Just coincidence, I guess. On low at 1024 by 768 the game averaged 24. Again, not brilliant, but now we have to talk about this thing itself. For newer games like this, the card is pretty bad, as I'm sure you would agree. But as I mentioned before, being a $40 card, it's not that unexpected. We have definitely found better cards for less money and if you're looking for something that can play newer titles at around the same budget, eBay or other online sites that offer used deals would be your best bet. If you want to buy new and just need a PC that can stream HD video, browse the web flawlessly or even play a few older and less demanding games pretty well, then this may be right for you. Although I'd still recommend going down the used route as I think this is a little overpriced. Do I hate it? No. Does it deserve the hate? Probably not. But it is what it is. A cheap card with a simple purpose. And that purpose isn't really gaming. So guys, I hope you've enjoyed this little look at the GT610. Um, it, you know, all in all, it doesn't really deserve the hate it gets. But let me know what you think down in the comments below. Like the video if you enjoyed it. Dislike it if you didn't. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. And of course, I'll see you all hopefully in the next video.